Hi everyone. As amazing as amazing it can be, I have a very very good news for you guys. Google Summer, uh, I mean Winter Internship 2023 is open and they are accepting the applications. In this particular video, we are going to discuss what you're supposed to learn, how you have to apply and what are the terms and conditions or what are the rules and regulation you have to follow. So without wasting my, uh, I mean your time, let's quickly discuss. So This is actually a summer, uh, I mean winter internship, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, okay. This is actually a winter, uh, winter internship at Google, okay. You can see this is an in-office uh, internship if I may. So the locations are Hyderabad, Telangana and obviously Bangalore. So these are the two, uh, I mean, two locations currently Google has said. Now this internship will start from month of January 2023 and will take 22 to 24 weeks in duration. That means around six months. Now you have to understand one thing guys, this is one of the most important internship. Just imagine if you have internship tag in your resume, even I am getting the goosebumps right now. You can imagine the possibilities are endless for you. Okay, This internship is intended for students who are posting final year. Now this is very important point. This internship is not for people who are in currently pre-final year, if I may. The people who are in final year, that means next year they will be graduating. Okay. So you're supposed to be as a bachelor's, master's or dual degree program. Okay. In computer science field or related to field and will graduate in 2023. Now the process is quite simple. You have to click on this particular apply now button. Now obviously I will not discuss everything like how you have to do and different stuff. Obviously this is something you have to read on. Okay. Now, uh, by applying on this particular position, obviously the preferred locations are Hyderabad, Telangana and Bangalore, Karnataka. Now, obviously, if you don't like these cities, I have a very bad news for you guys, because obviously if, if we have internship like this, obviously we have to go. And obviously Hyderabad and Bangalore, these are the, I mean, I cannot express how uh, exposure wise these great cities are. So obviously you should not miss it at any way okay now let's talk about the qualifications so obviously you have to be enrolled in associate bachelor's and master's degree program okay experience in software development again i was always mentioning you have to have some experience in it okay so obviously now this is the great time for you guys to actually make a good github profile uh, do some internships make some projects update your linkedin profile and do the stuff Experience in coding one or more language, you can see C, C++, Java, JavaScript, Python or similar. Now obviously I was constantly speaking Java, JavaScript and Python are one of the most important languages. If you have followed this particular thing, you will be quite happy right now. Okay. But if you if you're still not now, I mean, if you're still not uh, well with that, obviously there is no way for you guys to have any, any difficulty learn any one of these languages and start working on them this internship will start in the month of january so you have ample amount of time now preferred qualification obviously they said experience in data structure and algorithm okay inside and outside if i may including open source hobbing uh, i mean ho uh, hobby coding so please try to understand open source is always a biggest leverage you can get okay now experience working in some of the applications like web applications linux and unix environment if i may mobile application development so if you're into android application development web application development you can see machine learning is there uh, NLP is there, networking is there, developing large softwares are there. So obviously you can see there is tons and tons of opportunity if you are from the diverse background. Okay. The best part of this internship is that it is full time for minimum six months outside of your university term time. So obviously if you are in college right now, if you are in university right now, you have to ask your institution to give you six months gap kind of a thing because if you don't have this kind of a thing, Google will say no, Avinash, this internship is not for you. Obviously, the ability to speak and write English fluently. Again, I, I don't know how that is kind of a requirement, but yes, you can see. So obviously, you can see this is the whole internship. If I may, you should be applying for it. The link is available in the description of this particular video. The responsibility which you are supposed to do in the internship. So obviously, create and support productive team and innovative team, including working with peer, manager and team. Develop scripts and automate routine tasks, analyze information and apply knowledge. So basically what will happen in this internship is quite simple. You will be working with people who are actually working in products developed by Google. It could be Android operating system. It could be Google search. It could be YouTube. If it could be Google Chrome, it could be 
uh, I don't know, like you can see, uh, I mean, Chrome, Android, YouTube, uh, Google Engineer. So like there are so many products Google have developed. So obviously you will be working with them. They will be coming up with you and they will be saying, hey, Avinash, uh, we are facing this kind of a challenge. Do you have a solution for that? And if you can give the solution, just imagine the kind of opportunities you will get kind of opportunities you will get okay now apply knowledge gained in computer science course in real world problems so obviously whatever the challenges people are facing in the real world you will be able to actually i mean uh, solve those kind of issues now i'm not sure if they are going to actually uh, let you code the actual uh, products they have developed they maybe i don't know how that is going to work out but just imagine the kind of responsibility the kind of uh, exposure you will be getting so right now after this video ends guys i have a request please go to this particular link read everything thoroughly and apply for this internship and after applying for this internship don't sit idle okay after applying for this internship don't sit idle now obviously this is it for this particular video i just wanted to make a quick video now if you are applying for this internship please post it in the comment like you are applying for an internship with your github profile so that i can audit it and i can let you know that if you uh, i mean if you need any improvement in that or not because github is going to be one of the most important profile you have to manage there okay so if you are applying for that please comment down below your github profile so that i can audit it and i can let you know what what are the things you have to update and what are the things you have to do this video i have made especially for people who are not from tier 1 tier 2 i mean tier 1 colleges they are from tier 2 tier 3 colleges this opportunity is open for everyone you can see google has not written i am only accepting people from iit nits uh, at least i have not seen that so this is an open opportunity for everyone so please go and grab it give a thumbs up if you like this video and obviously comment down your github profile so that i can audit it and i can let you know what improvements you have to make so with this avinash said is uh, signing off guys and i'll see you in the next one